What's going on everybody? It's your host PS Fanboy here and I'm bringing you a rather new interesting video on my channel. Now, I don't want to do Let's Plays every day. I decided I would add a bit more variety in my content and it's the weekend, so what the hell. I decided to upload this video. And this video is a story from my own personal recollection of one of the worst, absolute, most heinous, awful, stuck up teachers I ever had in my high school series. Now, back in high school, I was a loner, okay? I was really, especially sophomore year, I was going through some shit. I wasn't a person a lot of people liked. That changed later on during my junior and senior years when I got into theater productions. But, point is, I was a downer for most of my high school career. Now, this happens to actually take part place during my senior year. Um, <clears throat> in freshman year, I failed my Spanish class because I was a little shit and didn't give a shit about school, okay? <laughs> I know, I know. Great example. But, so I had to retake that shit uh, senior year in order to graduate. Now, my first year, my first try... Okay, uh, let me explain something. In my school, we had trimesters, and this were basically split into three sections. Most schools have semesters where they're split into two or four. My school did three. Yeah, I know, we're weird. But anyways... The first trimester was fine. I had a really nice teacher. She was great. We had a lot of laughs. She was she was a nice woman. She wasn't too overbearing. She taught the material. I feel like I actually learned something in her class, and I actually enjoyed being there. Yeah, I know. I enjoyed being in her classroom. I know. It's alien, right? But the magic wouldn't last forever. Come second trimester, I was stuck in this new teacher. I won't name her name, but I'm going to tell her Mrs. Blah. Because that's all she deserves to be called. Do you think that's disrespectful? Fuck you, quit watching the video. Anyways, Mrs. Blech was just... Ugh. She is the perfect... I don't understand how a person like this could exist. She had this attitude about herself that she was like our all-powering overlord or some shit. Like, she thought that every kid was a complete asshole. Even the stuck-up kid... Even the kids who tried to be fucking teacher's pet even hated her. That's how bad she was. Kids were her peasants and she was the emperor, okay? She was top shit. Not only that, but she didn't teach her class worth a damn, okay? she bas Her teaching style was this. Here's a packet to work. Do it if you want to, but not really. You know why I say that? Because you didn't even really have to do the packet, alright? You did the packet if you felt like it. And guess what? The way she graded the packets was that she would walk around and just stamp the paper if she saw you had some answer in there. So you had to literally write complete bullshit in every answer line, and she would still stamp it and give you the 100%. So what's the point? I was literally doing that, and I literally got an A in the class because of that. I even tried to learn. I really did. I even tried doing it, but because she didn't go over anything that I was on the packets hardly ever, I didn't know over half of it. She was like, you should just read the damn textbook if you want to learn anything. Hold up. Hold up. I get that the textbooks are there for reference and to give us educational material. But what's the point of te being a teacher if you don't teach us anything? I mean, really, she was relying 100% on us reading the textbook on our own time in order for us to learn anything. So she was garbage at her job. No other teacher in my high school career did that. Not even the history teachers. And they had a textbook about as big as your mom, so that's how big it was. Anyways, this woman... <sighs> let's get back on track. I went to her class the first day, and believe me, there were rumors and everything about this teacher. I had heard shit about this teacher since she got hired there. Back up, two years ago, we actually had two classes. There was one Spanish teacher, the good one, that I had the first trimester, and a French teacher. However, the French teacher got really sick, and she had to quit a year afterwards. This was my sophomore year, by the way. Junior year, they tried to find a replacement French teacher, but couldn't, so there was just the one Spanish teacher. She was overwhelmed, so they hired an additional Spanish teacher. But hold up, that ain't enough. They hired two additional Spanish teachers. I don't know why, they just like, fuck it, we can't get another French teacher, it's so too Spanish in there. But anyways, that's how we got this new Spanish teacher. Well, the other one, who uh, I kind of knew... She was Catholic, but she was alright. I don't know anything against Catholics, it's just I don't really believe in their way. They're a little too strict for me, kind of too old-minded. But that's not the point. We're talking about Mrs. Blah. Mrs. Blah was so uptight. 
I will not forget my first day in her class. This is a true story. I am not exaggerating what happened my first day of class. I went into her class and I thought, there's no way she can be as bad as everyone says. I was giving her the benefit of a doubt, all right? So I go in there, there's no seating chart yet. Okay, cool. I sit up front, all right? I'll just play it cool, I'll sit up front. I like to sit in the front. People usually don't bother me in the front. Cause you know, I was kind of the loner and sometimes people would try to talk to me that I didn't like, like the fucking airhead kids. Anyways, so I sat up there, I placed my bag down, I did out my Spanish binder, and I'm just kind of waiting for class to begin. You know, kids are rolling in left and right, things are good, and boom, bell rings. Teacher comes in, she has this really unpleasant look on her face, but she is like not happy to be there, okay? Anywho, she goes ahead and starts taking attendance, and I'll never forget this. There were these two girls in my class, I don't remember their names, but they were twins, okay? And the teacher, she pronounced one of their names wrong. It was something really stupid. I forget what her name was, but she pronounced it wrong. That's the point of the story. So the girl politely, very politely, mind you, rose her hand and said, oh, my name is actually, and she pronounced it correctly. Sorry, I couldn't remember what her name actually was. It was that obscure. These kids were right foreign. I don't know what the fuck they were. And no shit, the teacher literally burst into tears and said, how dare you correct me like that? I'm your teacher. How you shouldn't correct your teacher like that. The whole class was just staring at her. We could not believe that she got that upset over being corrected by calling a student's name wrong. I mean, what the fuck? Who does that? And she was literally that upset about it. Like, holy shit. But anyways, that's not my personal story. Yes, I was there, but that was an incident with me. You guys want to hear how she affected me, right? All right, get your buttholes ready for this. So, at th by this point in time, I had already accepted that she's a whack job, okay? I didn't like her. I dreaded her coming to her class every day. It was the bane of my high school existence. So anyways, another dreadful day of Spanish rolls around, and I walk in. I don't remember what we were talking about, but me and my friend were talking, and I was accidentally leaning against her podium at the front of the class. But it wasn't actually me, my backpack was slightly grazing her podium, okay? I was just slightly grazing it. And she looks over to me from her desk and yells, What are you doing? Don't touch my podium! I wasn't even aware I was touching it because it was my backpack and, you know, that's not part of my body. I can't feel that shit. I turn around and i like, Oh, it's it's okay, really. Look, nothing's falling off. It's good. And she's like, Are you disrespecting me? I'm like, No, I'm just pointing out to you that nothing's wrong. I'm sorry. So I go to the office. I was completely aghast. I had just been sent to the office because my backpack was grazing the teacher's podium. I was really polite about it too. I didn't even like bullshit her or anything. I wasn't swearing. I was just politely showing her that it was all okay and it was all good. I even apologized. But no, I was being disrespectful, so I had to go to the office. There I had a talk with the vice principal. Yeah, the vice principal pretty much handled all the student problems there, but he was a cool guy. As long as you were honest with him, he pretty much was a cool guy. Like, a lot of people hated him, but that was mainly the, the kids who didn't do, like, anything in school anyway. Me as a good kid, we, we were cool. We were cool, man. Like, we were very chill with each other. So I went in there, I told him straight up what happened, and he couldn't believe what was happening. He said, why are you even down here? I don't know. I didn't know. He legit asked me why I was down here after I told him what happened. He couldn't understand what I did wrong. So we went back to the classroom, I sat down in my seat, and he drew the teacher out in the hallway and talked to her for like 10 minutes. Yep. I just won up that teacher. I was miss... Missing... I, what was the... What's the term I'm trying to think of? I was, I was fucking convicted without reason. There we go. There we go. That That's good. That's good terminology. Yeah, yeah. Pat me on the back. I'm amazing. No. Um, ugh. But for the... The weird thing is... This teacher somehow liked me. Like, she was really creepy about it. She had these really high expectations for me the entire year. Like, literally. I did jack shit in that classroom because I couldn't learn anything because she did such a shitty job of teaching it. Now, I know what you're thinking, but you could have just read the textbook and went, okay, hold up, hold up. Who in their right minds don't read a whole textbook cover to cover in high school? Like, literally, it was a brand new fucking textbook. We hadn't had it the previous year or anything. So we had this big-ass textbook, and she was kind of expecting us to just read it on her own time, and she gave us the packets, which, again, when I add, you didn't really have to do. So I didn't learn jack shit the entire second trimester of school, or the third because I had her again. 
And when I got a B on the exam because I fucking half-assed all my answers because I didn't learn anything, she said, huh, I thought you were going to get an A. I literally was speechless. I don't know how the fuck she expected that much of me. And then when third trimester came around, ironically, I actually did get an A. Didn't know what the hell any of the answers were, but I aced it. That's right, bitch. I fucking guest ninja that shit. Ah. So that's my story with Mrs. Blah. If you've had any other teachers who were just so stuck up in their own world that, like, they freaked out over anything, I would, I wish I could tell you more, but this video is going a little long, so. Thank you all so much for watching. Uh, remember to like, comment, subscribe down below for more content. Twitter, Facebook links are in the description, as always. Uh, guys, if you want to see more videos like this, me telling you creepy-ass stories, fucking freaky-ass stories from my childhood, let me know down in the comments section below. I have tons more, guys. I can go on more about Mrs. Blab, but I don't want to bore you guys. Bye-bye!